Hello everyone, Chiseler here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to both talk about and spin the Marmful Machine. Now, the reason why I feel comfortable investing and spinning in the Marvel Machine, even though there's a very high probability that I come out uh, in the red, is that I'm kind of in a unique position with my game where <clears throat> most of the rewards that... Uh, that the Marvel Machine has to offer are things that I can actually benefit from. Prime schools I need for some of the some of the equips that I'm working on. They drop a lot of 2x XP and drop coupons. Those are great for the ongoing grind for all of my characters. And on top of that, I also have the very small chance of hitting a jackpot reward, which honestly would be really cool. Um, some people may be thinking, well, Chisler, you also advertise yourself as a free-to-play player. What the heck are you doing purchasing Marvel spins? Well, truth be told, I think after today, and actually buying some spins with real money, which I earned through doing this on YouTube, um, that I guess I can't really call myself free-to-play anymore. Some people might argue, oh, it's from YouTube, or you earned it from doing MapleStory, but that's beside the point. I guess I'm no longer free-to-play, but... Without further ado, I'm going to take us through the Marvel Machine, talk about the spins as we get them, and how I can potentially use them with all of my characters. So, let's get right into it. So this is essentially a bunch of garbage. Now, P-Socks are actually nice for me, because I have a lot of old gear on my characters that I can just throw a P-Sock on them, stick them in the auction house, and get a little bit of extra money. So I'm actually not all that upset about getting a P-Sock. Getting more uh, hair coupons and cosmetics also isn't that bad. A couple of my characters and some new projects that I'm working on could benefit from, from some nice cosmetics as well. Guardian Scrolls are always good because here, as some of you may have seen, I'm working on some equips that I'm going to be using Prime Scrolls on. And as you're aware, Prime, or for those of you in Interactive Worlds, Prime Scrolls have a chance to uh, to explode. So having Guardian Scrolls, oh, sorry, forgive me, those are Protection Scrolls. Guardian Scrolls, I believe, um, helps to recover the scroll if it's used and it fails. So this will be helpful to hold on to primes because primes can be a little expensive. And again, more cosmetics, I'm not all up that upset about it. Bonus glowing, glowing, glowing cubes are always nice, royals are always nice, especially three of them. ICOG 50% is pretty good, I use these on my gear as well, so always happy to have more. 2x coupons, always great. Lots of grinding to do. More cosmetics, not upset about that. These are essentially useless, but eh, it is what it is. More cosmetics, not bad. More cosmetics, not bad. And essentially useless. This is essentially useless. Sweet water gear isn't meta relevant in any way. More cosmetics, nice, and kind of a useless uh, useless coupon, so not a great spin, but oh well. We have another Guardian Scroll, won't complain with that. Uh, Battle Roid, which back in the day would be considered a jackpot, but nowadays is sold for less than one bill in the auction house. These are essentially useless again, and Tinkerer's Chests also don't give equips that are meta-relevant in any way, so... Royal hair coupons, nice. Royal face coupons, nice. A useless tinker's chest is what it is. Shield scrolls, always nice. These are used in the priming process as well, so I'm always happy to see more of these. 30-day hyper teleport rock, I'm not going to complain with either. Those go for about 10k NX in, uh, in the cash shop, so this will just be a free month of hyper teleport rock and essentially a useless coupon. Another Guardian Scroll is great, another 30-day Hyper Teleport Rock is great, and Tinker's Chest, nah, don't care about that. Chaos Scroll of Goodness is not as great as Incredible Chaos Scrolls of Goodness, unfortunately, so these are kind of 
meh. Probably sell them anyways. Anniversary surprise style box. Bit of a uh, bit of cosmetics, not bad. Uh, I can always sell what I get from these boxes as well. And Kerning City hair coupon. I don't think this is worth anything, as I believe the Kerning City hair is a default hairstyle option when you make an explorer. Summeroid is essentially useless. Anniversary Royal Hair Coupon's nice, won't complain about that. And a Terminus Vanquisher is essentially useless. Might be able to find someone willing to buy one for an anvil, but again, not worth very much at all. Premium Surprise Style Boxes are great, especially two of them, won't complain about that at all. Three Royal Face Coupons is also great, and a Bright Cube is always nice to have as well. So all in all, that was a pretty good spin. More Guardian Scrolls are great. Um, RK number gear in Interactive Worlds, especially in Barra, aren't that much anymore. I think this is maybe 150 mil, so that's kind of meh and a useless coupon, so not a great spin. Absolab Axe, this is essentially useless. Uh, All-Star Face Coupon's nice, won't complain about cosmetics, and a Red Familiar card is decent. It's essentially the same as a Glowing Cube, but for re-rolling familiar lines. And I'm always looking to re-roll some familiar lines on some of my characters. Shield Scrolls are great, won't complain about that. Tyrant Altair Gloves, these are essentially useless. And a one-day Hyper Teleport Rock. Maybe I'll slap that on a mule one day as I level it up. Change Royal Hair Coupon, won't complain about that, that's pretty nice. Three Violet Cubes is really nice, because these, I think, work out to... Ooh, how much are they each? I think they're about 3k NX each, so that's 9k right there, that's pretty solid. Innocent Scroll, I actually use these while I'm trying to ICOG the first slot of my gear, so I'm happy with this as well. This was a pretty good roll. Twenty slot soul bag. This is essentially useless because you can get the forty slot soul bags from the event shops. Premium surprise style box is always nice. Kind of sucks that it's only one and kind of a useless coupon. Two glowing cubes is nice. I like that. Tyrant Caron gloves, uh, pretty much useless. And two red familiar cards. That's not bad either. This one's kind of. Potentially a candidate for doubling up, but eh, I can't be bothered. We have a superior shielding ward. This is unfortunately not as valuable as regular shielding wards because this only works on sh uh, superior equipment, which isn't really meta relevant right now. Uh, unique potential scroll 60%, kind of nice, can throw that on some mule gear or sell it in the auction house, and Tinker's chest is kind of useless, so this wasn't a great spin. Perfect Innocent Scroll potentially has some use here, but again, with all the various options of Innocent Scrolling available in the game, I don't think this really does much for me. Tyrant, uh, Tyrant Karan Cloak is essentially useless, and a Respawn Pass is essentially useless. Three Epic Potential Scrolls, that can be nice. I'm not sure if these ones are tradable or not. Might just slap them in the auction house. Mixed Eye Coupon Ticket, won't complain about cosmetics. And a Trait Boost post Potion, this will help unlocking uh, pocket slots on all of my mules. Another Guardian Scroll, always happy to see those. Uh, Black Friday Royal Face Coupon, those are pretty nice. And five Onyx Apples, I will probably keep these as I use Onyx Apples a lot when I do Culvert. Two Glowing Cubes, always nice, won't complain about that. More Cosmetics, not that bad. And a Beauty Salon Face Slot Coupon, eh, always helps. Royal Face Coupon's always nice, Halloween Surprise Style Box. I don't know if there's anything great that comes from these, but I can always open it and see what I get. And then an Evolution Scroll, those are not very great right now. Another Guardian Scroll, always great to see. Another 30 Day Hyper Teleport Rock, won't complain about either. And a single Gachapon ticket. 
These 2x drop coupons are actually really, really nice. I'm quite happy to see that. Uh, anniversary supply style box, again, can open that, sell what's inside, and kind of a useless coupon. Mm, do I want to double that? Hope to get more drop. I think I'm going to pass. Guardian scroll, great to see. All-star hair coupon, nice cosmetics, and a useless chest. Perfect Innocent Scroll, eh, don't know if I'll have much use for that. Another 30 day Hyper Teleport Rock won't complain, and Beauty Slot Hair Coupon's always nice, good to have more slots available. Guardian Scroll again, getting a lot of these but not complaining. A 17 star 100% Enhancement Scroll, this will be quite nice, can probably throw that on one of my, uh, one of my pitched items once I finish scrolling it, and a useless coupon. Special bonus potential scroll, that's something at least. Not much, but it's something. This is essentially useless, and this is essentially useless, so bad spin. Guardian scroll, great to see. Five gatch tickets, eh, that's not bad. Five powerable rebirth flames, I can just throw these on some of the gear that I'm working on. Red Familiar card's always nice, I like to see those. Cosmetics are always nice, and another one day rock. These 2x coupons are really good, this I like to see. 30 day hyper teleport rock's always nice. One day hyper teleport rock, eh, not so great. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna dump Transparent cape, I won't complain about having some transparent NX covers, those are always good to have. Uh, more NX, great to have, can sell what's inside, and another gatch ticket, something at least. Princess Roid coupon, this is essentially useless, nothing valuable there. Six red familiar cards aren't that bad. This is 7,200 worth of NX for me to roll my familiars with, so always happy to see that. And another single gachapon ticket. Two X is great. More uh, more surprise style boxes is great, and a useless coupon. Princess Roy, this again useless. Eleven gatch tickets this time, so that's not bad. Definitely in the plus there, and won't complain with another beauty slot hair coupon. Fantastical Android, this is, again, pretty much useless. Uh, Royal Face Coupon's always nice, like cosmetics, and this will be nice for, I guess, Anvil service, but aside from that, this will sell for next to nothing, really. More drop coupons, those are always great to have, won't complain there. Three Royal Hair Coupons are great as well. You can even use these on, uh, on Androids. And another ICOG 50%, I quite like having these as well. Forty slot soul bag. This is essentially what you can get in the event shop. So something at least. Won't complain with more surprise style boxes and another useless coupon. Or our two X special coupon. Won't complain with that. That's good to have. Um, this is kind of useless for me because I don't really roll pets. I'll probably just open it, get a little ninety day pet that's worth like ten mil, and move on with my life. And this coupon is essentially useless. Shield scroll, these are great to have, always part of the priming process. Valentine surprise style box I will take, and a respawn pass is useless. Shield scroll, these are great to have. Abso pirate gloves are essentially useless. These are like 30 mil in the auction house, and another useless chest. So, all in all, it looks like I got shafted pretty good trying to roll Marvel Machine. I was even hoping to get more like flames or cubes or prime scrolls that I would be able to use on my gear. So I guess take this as an example of uh, you're really gambling with your money with this. There's a very small chance that you're going to hit and a very, very, very high probability that you're going to end up just like me 
where you pretty much waste your money and don't really get much out of the end. So even though uh, I rolled a lot of junk, I'll be able to take advantage of a lot of what I did get. Uh, so I'm going to end this recording, be right back, and I will show you guys what I get out of my gatch tickets and out of my surprise style boxes. Thank you. 